it. Thank you for joining me for part two of this Crown Victoria Gambler 500 build. In this video, we're going to be trying to lift it. All the stuff finally came in. It's February 2022, so uh, you know we've been having shortages and stuff's taking forever to get here. But I got everything now. We got some uh, halfway decent 31s we're gonna throw on it. We got some Ford F-150 4x4 shocks. I forget the year, but it's like forever pretty much. One and a half inch spacers from eBay. And also from eBay, some lift spacers, which have the worst weld I've ever seen on a factory sold product. I've seen worse. There is worse on that truck, but the difference was is this cost me money and that cost me like a crunch wrap supreme to diesel dave but we're gonna get started lifting this but first thing i want to do is get it up and see if it's got a limited slip in the back before it's too tall to check okay so i got both back tires jacked up the differential is right there it's actually what the jack is resting on and the easiest way to check this is to give the tire a roll and if the other tire rolls forward with it it's a limited slip differential if it ro rolls the other way it's an open differential and uh, let's just check it and then I'll explain why that's important okay all right rotating it forward and it rotates backwards Okay, so we got an open differential. So I guess I might as well explain why that's important. So most vehicles will have an open differential and that works for like most applications of making the wheels spin at different rates but also being able to get power to it. But a quirk of the open differential is if you're in like slick conditions your two-wheel drive car might turn into just a one-wheel drive car and all the power will only go to one wheel and a limited slip differential will keep as much power as it possibly can going to both wheels and that's obviously way better for the off-roading I plan to do with it but we're gonna give it a locker so I'm just gonna take apart the differential and um, weld the two tires together always which is not good <laughs> for most like comfortable road applications but it'll probably keep us from getting stuck so that's what we're gonna do well first thing I'm probably gonna lift the front of the car first that is from what I hear the easier side to lift so we're gonna do that and then come back to the other side maybe with some help we'll see how it goes I'd like to get it all done today so here we are again, probably like two weeks after the last time I filmed this thing, and everything is stuck. So I brought in the cavalry. <laughs> the cavalry and the people that have real tools. But I'm just gonna do a quick recap of what we're dealing with here. So this is supposed to be a no problem thing, and all you gotta do is drop this ball joint, and you'd be able to lower this whole assembly and stick the spacers in. But everything is stuck, because this is freaking New York, so everything is seized. What they expect you to do is stick this tiny six millimeter down here and then get yourself a 24 inch wrench and just undo that. And of course it's all stuck. And I got it half undone and now it's stuck half undone, which is worse than it being not undone at all. <laughs> so it looks like we're going to have to sawzall all, all of this out. <laughs> And that's what we got going on for today. Hopefully it won't be a nightmare. The joys on working on cars in New York. It's not quite there yet. Don't even don't even talk like that. That happened to my buddy. Oh yeah. What? 
he had a he had a um saw attachment for an angle for an angle grinder oh, no, and he was yeah. sawing up like hardwood hit a knot it hit like the uh he was wearing an apron it hit the like the cord of his apron sunk into his leg holy shit almost killed his ass oh my god it was like a really specific way to get a hold it hmm Did I have it or let me let me yeah. Oh yeah that's it. That's it right there. We know we're, we're using quality ball joints here. Crap. <laughs> now not only is it halfway between being on and off, woo, oh. victory. <laughs> well, we might need to go get like some saw, sawzall blades at some point then. All right, let's see if we can't do the top one now. There's a good blades too. Ah, crap. I have to reimburse you for some decent hardware too. Well, that makes one of us. Our road grade, I'm like, ah, it's a disposable tool at this point. Okay, let's see how on there that is. You think they could use the same fastener everywhere? How do you like my shop light? If it's plugged, yeah. I know. I, ha I actually had one of those like really nice battery ones, and it just. Let there be light. Yeah, I actually rounded out the. Uh, oh, the nuts rounded. No, not the nut. The um, the Allen key, the weaker part, obviously. Oh. Here, I'm gonna go get in there and turn the wheel so it's facing out. I can't see how to undo that fastener. Do you wanna try the thicker one? Oh, oh, never mind. I mean, like, like, uh, I think we're yeah, just, I think we're just, uh... Just making it hot? <laughs> yeah. Don't you love it when your like super easy lift ends up taking like three people, a couple weeks, and like hundreds of dollars of extra in tools? That was the redacted one. into the knuckle a little bit. That's how we do it. <laughs> Yeah, they're pressed in there too. It's a miracle. You think it would be able to? It wouldn't need something that tough. You want to try that? How almost done is it, or isn't it? Like three quarters. Oh, I see it now. Yeah. 
You might need to just go ham and just totally destroy the rest of that blade. Yeah, yeah. maybe send her off. Try to get uh, as close as possible. Hopefully we can do it right on the other two and it's not as bad. Might need to flatten that top of that knuckle when it does pop out of there, though. Yeah. I don't know if I have any. S I have sandpaper, but I don't have any uh, <laughs> files. I got the crappy little file on my multi tool. <laughs> got the Harbor Freight ones, it would have lasted, what, 20% less long of one minute? Yeah. <laughs> what are they making ball joints out of then? <laughs> I didn't think it would, it would take that much to go through like what, maybe a quarter an inch of ball joint? Me neither. Just went through how many bucks worth of Sawzall blades? I don't know. Three. Well, three, so three, three decently. Sawzall blades. Yeah, three nice Sawzall blades, and we're like halfway through the second ball joint, so we're down to the, <laughs> the Harbor Freight hacksaw. Let's get that bad boy out, that trout, tried and true. So far, I've only ever used it to cut like aluminum masts, so it's basically. Basically, totally fresh. You couldn't live with your failure, and where does that bring you? <laughs> right back to me. And this is riveted on it. These aren't bolts or anything. We're just gonna give that a little, get that out of the way. And uh, I'm gonna end the recording here. I'm not going to hold that and let you crush my fingers, but I'll, I'll take a swig at it. No, I mean like this. Oh. So it doesn't like, if it does snap, it doesn't crash on the way down. Well, we're ruining it. Hey, that, that made it, that made something different. Am I just roaching something in there? Stuck as hell, whatever. I'm, hold on, I'm gonna. <laughs> that was wise, just in the nick of time. I'm just gonna, you know, put my CT glasses on. You break that knuckle, though, I will cry manly tears. We're kind of mangling it. I don't know if it's doing anything. What's that? I just missed. <laughs> I heard something drop. I thought we made, oh, I... I thought we made progress. No. At least I made a huge crack there that you can saw on now. Uh, we're just taking the whole thing off. Because, <laughs> um, 
you can't even get a spare bar ball joint anymore. It comes with the whole shebang. So out the whole shebang comes. You might be <laughs> uh, spinning. It's like five minutes. this on the end here and try to hammer that side out. The other one looks like it's doing good. Do I have a tool that's not stuck under that thing? Here. I think we'll just drop that <laughs> and move that out from under the way. Really? You too? <laughs> yeah. ass. Here, can you hand me that specialty harbor freight? Play this. Yeah. Pre-recall. Get that whole thing out from under it. Oh, okay. Uh. I hate you. <laughs> Why didn't this go the other way? You know, like a bolt that goes yeah, in there? Yeah, I was thinking, why not just put the nut on the inside? And now they have to have these like weird bolts with the flat machined into it. Mm -hmm. Every time I go to like go for bigger cars, I'm like, man, bigger cars are fun. Why don't I do bigger car stuff? And then I come down with bigger car problems. Give me that. Yeah, I know that all too well. Uh, I know that all too well with a 19 and a half foot boat. <laughs> Takes up my whole driveway. I have to like Tetris my car around it to get into the garage. You saw how it's parked. Yeah. It's it's tight. <laughs> Just nailed that brake line. <laughs> Oh, you saw me move. Victory. Well, I don't know if anything can be called a victory at this point, but it's progress. Push. Push. Oh, God, it feels like it. <laughs> Bolt head. Oh. Mm. It's beautiful. <laughs> Give me some more crap to brace it on. <laughs> you just grab whatever crap in there so it King's Cup just shove it in that Reverse Jenga. <laughs> Man, even victory doesn't feel like victory anymore. This is gonna like all of a sudden come undone and just bite my fingers off now. Look at this. Come on, Why? Ford. You can't convince me this was a good idea. <laughs> they just took it to an angle grinder like, yeah, it works. It's just, it's like, just like, like uh... Alright, let's do this other one now. Nissan's actually has some pretty clever, clever clips. That, yeah. 
Yeah, this is this is an overkill. There we go. Let's put that right there. And where was that bolt that I kept using? That nut. He ran off. Oh yeah. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's spare parts now. Eat it. <coughs> wow, they just keep getting away from me, don't they? Here. <sighs> I can't use like the the you know the little magnets if the thing is just gone. <laughs> I need to be. I know. <laughs> if I can't find it at all. <laughs> Let's get that ABS thing unplugged if the whole thing's coming out soon. In here or on the You know, I guess it doesn't matter what side. Oh, just pop it off then. That was easy. That was the easiest part of the job. Cool. Steering steering knuckle time. Look how terrible PB that looks. PBR. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I mean, I look at the PB hardware. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Please tell me that's another ball joint down there. Yeah. Woo! Just tighten that right back up. We didn't see it. <laughs> I think we just ran into the same issue again, like a bunch of dunces. <laughs> here, let's take this friggin' thing out of here. Put this, I don't know where I can put this. Someone hold this. <laughs> See if you can do that the way it actually wants you to, uh, which yeah. is another stick a tiny little thing on it. And I was gonna say hook it here or something. Oh, we're taking that up. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you were just hanging around. I think I just put a dent in my car here. You gotta actually line it up with the slot. Do you want me to hold the. Yeah, I need, someone needs to hold the caliper, I someone needs to... Right here. Awesome, you pull the thing, I'll hold the caliper, Noah holds the thing down. Whoa, there it is!